In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an investment plan slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've created the four hot air balloons and it is carrying the dollars. You can see here, this is the investment and this is the plan one with a bigger higher balloon and with the orange color you can see here. Then the plan two is with the green hot air balloon. Then it is with red hot air balloon and then this is the fourth one, the smaller one. So you can add as many as you want depending on your requirement. And this is the animated slide. So how the slide works is when I click, you can see here this one that keeps on going higher and higher. So it gives a feeling that your investments is it's going much more higher and yielding more results, something like this. So this keeps on going. You can see here this is the repeated animation. So depending on your requirement, as I said, you can increase or decrease the size or the, the animation effect. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. To make the investment slide, I'm going to use the hot air balloon. Uh, you can see here this particular uh, design which I've used in my previous presentation and this particular video is available uh, on my channel. You can just go and watch it. So for this, I'm just going to take this. I'm just going to control C copy and I'm going to make it a new uh, presentation and I've just changed the background something like this and then right mouse click. I'm just going to paste it here make sure you should not make as a picture here you have to use use destination theme something like this and then this particular name i'm just going to delete it and then i'm just going to recolor this one so right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to use only two colors so for the green color i'm going to make it say a white and for this one i can use again a solid color maybe any color of your choice so again this is a white color can see here something like this and this is again uh, the orange color sorry let me just select the orange color and this is again it will be white and the last one will be orange color again if you want multiple colors also can be selected and then this one white this blue i'm just going to make it white shape fill i'm going to make it white and let me just zoom in and this one you can see here i'm just going to make it no outline and here i'm just going to make it more black this side both ends more dark black i'm just going to select it something like this and these lines also you can choose maybe a black so that it will be clearly visible you can see here or any other color of your choice also it can be selected so so this is my the hot air balloon the first design so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert some icons or some images which i have downloaded or if you're using you can just go to simply go to insert you can click on the icons or i can just simply select pictures from this device and then i'm going to select the image of the dollar sign so let me just select that so I'm going to use this particular image. Uh, sometimes what happens is when you download the image from the internet, the size will be very big and it will impact the size of your PowerPoint. So what you need to do, you have to go to the picture format and then you need to compress it. Just click the compress picture and then untick this one and this select this option email. So this will minimize your the size of the image. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reduce the size. Let me just zoom in. You can see here. And I'm going to reduce it further and I'm going to put it here. I'm duplicating, reduce the size further for this and add one more here. And this one, I'm just going to send this to back. Sorry, let me just close this, send back. Yeah. And these three things I'm just going to select. Okay. Let me just select these three things. You can see here, press control G to group it. Again, if you want, you can increase or decrease the size and place it here and then send this to back. So as if it is, you know, you are, uh, this hot air balloon is uh, flying with the dollars, something like that. That's what I want to show. And then you can go to insert text box or before doing that one, what I want to do is I want to duplicate this, press control D to duplicate, hold the shift key, reduce the size. So depending on your requirement, how much 
uh, size you want you can increase or decrease again I want one more and I'm going to place it somewhere here you can see again press ctrl D and I can just reduce it more smaller you can see here and I'm just going to place it here as I said you can just change the color now instead of this I want to use maybe red color you can see here this would be red color and this one I want to change some maybe a green color or which one color any color of your choice you can choose you can see here and then maybe this one I'm just going to use maybe purple alright and the last one yes and if you see here this is not visible so if I just take this down these dollar signs are not visible here somewhere it has gone hiding so what we need to do is maybe we need to ungroup it and then we need to just check where exactly it is so let me just ungroup it or sorry I have not forgot to add that one so what I need to do is I'm just going to duplicate this maybe I forgot to add that and then let me just reduce the size and send this to back you can see here send this to back again duplicate this bring the other side you can see here and then again this also send to back and then this also you can add it a more smaller let me just zoom in reduce it so that it fits in the basket and then just send this to back and then what you need to do is you need to group it one by one okay so you can see here i'm just grouping it before i forgot to group it that's the reason it has not come there okay right now once this is done what we need to do is we need to add the text so go to insert text i'm saying that this is plan investment plan 01 center align make it bold any good font of your choice you can choose i'm just going to make it a roboto let me just make it roboto you can see here and then you can add some detailed text here detail investment plan reduce the size center align you can see here and then this also i'm just going to group it Control d to duplicate add this here maybe you can reduce the size Control d bring the bring it here press Control d and then I'm just going to reduce the size further you can see here and then this is plan 1 this is 2 this is 3 and this is plan 4 all right now what we need to do is again I'm going to group this along with the text again group it you can select both like this group it select this hold the shift key group it and this also group it now with this we have uh, completed the uh, the hot air balloon design now it's time to add some animation as well as the we have to design the clouds also now let me just design some clouds so go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw one oval shape something like this press ctrl d you can just reduce or increase the size so just i'm just taking some random you know sizes you can see here press ctrl d again control D I can just make it more bigger so whichever way you feel better you can just add it and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all these things merge shapes and make it union all right and then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white so this is the cloud ready so let me just add four or five clouds again I can just select here reduce the size and put it here control d 
I'm just going to add the size somewhat bigger again one more I want to add it and if you want to edit the size also edit the shape also you can just edit point and then you can just do whatever the changes you like to add to the cloud something like this also it can be done and then what I need to do is I have to just bring it all the clouds on top of the slide so that that should not be visible because we need to do the animation and the clouds as if uh, the, we are going to do the animation to the clouds but it looks like the the hot air balloon is, is flying high or it's just going up something like that kind of effect we need to give so the animation let me just go to the animations tab enable the animation pane i'm just going to select this cloud first and add animation scroll down you can see here the line here just click it here so it goes something like this down can you see here the small red point just drag this down okay and then double click this one make the smooth start and smooth end to zero go to the timings make it slow repeat until end of the slide and click ok so it goes something like this so if you want this has to be go at the back so i have to just go and make this as sent to back this also it has to go to the back it has to be sent to back okay now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use the animation painter and click on this okay and this one it should be with previous but i'm just going to give some delay here and again animation painter i'm going to click it here and this also i'm going to delay a little bit and here this animation painter again i'm going to delay it further all right so if i play now you can see here the clouds comes like this okay so keep on coming you can see as if it is looking but you know this looks very stationary kind of thing so i'm going to add the animation for this also so i'm just going to select all this one by one by holding the control or uh, the shift key then what i'm going to do is add animation under elements or sorry under emphasis there's something called teeter just click that one and then make sure this is with previous and i'm going to select let me just move it at the beginning and then i'm going to select all these four right mouse click effect options you can see here timings you can make it slow and repeat until end of the slide and click ok so now if i play you can see here it looks something like this you know as if it is it's, it's just going uh, higher and higher some kind of otherwise if we don't give the animation it looks very stationary kind of thing so this is simplest way you can do the investment slide and you can just add the title here.